The Democrats have come and gone and come again to New Hampshire. Bernie Sanders did a cameo on Saturday Night Live in New York. Hillary Clinton parachuted into Flint, Michigan, and the water debacle there Sunday. But they are both back here tonight. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry is at a Sanders rally in Durham. Good evening, Ed. Good evening, Brett. For Hillary Clinton, it's visions of 2008 all over again, behind in a big primary, controversial comments by Bill Clinton, and now even talk of a staff shakeup. Bill and Hillary Clinton started today trying to regain some political magic at a New Hampshire landmark that holds a special place in their past. Breakfast at Chez Vachon, the French-Canadian cafe, where the comeback kid was born in 1992, with economic anxiety on the menu for voters then and now. A lot of people just Hi. don't believe we can change their prosperity. Except 24 years later, the candidate tapping into voter anxiety is not a Clinton. It's a Democratic Socialist named Bernie Sanders. The people of New Hampshire are prepared to lead this country in a political revolution. That revolution could start in the Granite State. So while Hillary Clinton claims she's still fighting for every vote here, she spent most of yesterday in Flint, Michigan, talking about the water crisis. And today already started looking ahead to the next battleground. Well, there's a caucus in Las Vegas. So Saturday, the, oh, you. You the 20th. Now there are rumblings of a staff shakeup, with Politico reporting that Bill and Hillary Clinton are upset about her campaign's confusing messaging. A Clinton spokesman told Fox News, no staff shakeup is coming. But it's clear that Bill Clinton is getting frustrated. After holding his tongue for most of the campaign, he lashed out at Sanders on Sunday for pushing socialist plans without fully explaining how to pay for them. The New Hampshire I knew would not have voted for me if I had done that. And then, despite Republican frontrunner Donald Trump declaring Bill Clinton's sexual past as fair game, the former president accused the Sanders camp of sexism over attacks their supporters are directing at the Clinton team online. Attacks that are literally too profane often, not to mention sexist, to repeat. That led to a new round of hand-wringing about whether the Clinton comments will backfire, as they seem to do in 2008, rather than spark a 1992-style Clinton comeback. So today brought a quick walk back. The hotter this election gets, the more I wish I were just a former president and just for a few months not the spouse of the next one. Because... You know, I have to be careful what I say. Now, tonight, former Obama strategist David Axelrod is suggesting the Clintons are to blame, tweeting, quote, when the exact same problems crop up in separate campaigns with different staff, at what point do the principals say, hey, maybe it's us? Meanwhile, John Podesta, the Clinton chairman, is saying tonight there's zero truth to the talk of a shakeup. Of course, we've heard denials before shakeups before, right? Ed Henry live in Durham tonight. Ed, thank you.